Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you a order search and print data. So in this order search web application, you can see here we have a simple and clean interference for searching. So first of all, when you click on this search order, now it will say no match records font because we don't have entered anything in our search criteria. Okay, we go to our Google Sheet. So basically, Google Sheet we use as a database. So for search the order, we need to enter our phone number and the order ID. Okay, so we just go here and just copy our phone number and paste it here and click on this search order. So when we click on this search order, it again says no matching records found. Okay, so we need to copy our order ID and enter here and click on this search records now so as you can see here when both of our phone number and order id is successfully matched from our database from our google sheet then the result is successfully being shown to our web application so now you can see here we can download the pdf and the view of the pdf you can see here is the clean and also we can uh, copy the CSV file, uh, download the CSV file and copy this data. Okay, so as you can see here, when I copy this phone number and go here and paste it here and uh, again click on this search records, it will say me no matching the orders found. I just copy my order ID and paste it here and click on this search orders so when i click on this search orders right now you can able to see i have the four orders found okay as you can see here so in these particular orders if i need to search more i can simply search it i just select a3 as you can see here the a3 data is successfully been displayed okay this web application is absolutely free the uh, disc, uh, the link of the google sheet is available in the description you can go and download this but now how uh, uh, you will download this file no problem but how to set up this file so when you uh, get this file you will see this kind of interference in front of you you will see this interference in front of you you just simply click on this click on this make a copy and when you click on this make a copy as you can see here you start make a copy so it will loading uh, so after the loading it will create a copy of the google sheet in your google drive okay so you can see here the copy of order so this is the actual sheet and this is the copy of the google sheet which is created in your google drive okay now you just need to go to your uh, extensions and click on this app script icon so when you click on this app script as you can see here your google app script editor is loading successfully and you can see here the code is added by default because when you copy this this sheet have already set up the code in the in them so you just need to uh, copy the google sheet the code will automatically comes so now the major steps you need to follow for after the copy you just come here uh, you can see here, this is a copy of order search and print data. So you just go here and copy your Google Sheet ID from here and uh, control C. And now to go to your uh, Google App Script code editor and in the code.js file, in the line number 10, you just need to replace the Google Sheet ID with them. Okay, so now that's all okay. So for example, if you want to change this order sections, the, if you want to change this sheet name you just change the name here and the exact name you will paste it here okay as you can see right now you can change the currency from here usdt to pkr usdt to indian rupees usdt to bangladeshi rupee okay so as you can see you can change from it here okay now click on this deploy and click on this new deployment when you click on this new deployment it will sometime it will show like this so don't worry in this case simply click on this setting icon click on this web app and now 
you can select here three options who has access if you want to access this web application only by your only by your gmail or from your system you can simply select only myself and if you want that everyone can access my google web app with their google account then you select anyone with google account if you want everyone can access this web application without any restriction you can select anyone okay now click on this deploy so when you click on this deploy it will updating the deployment and ask for the permissions okay so you can see here we have a authorized access we simply click on this authorized access and now we need to continue with our google account okay now you simply click on this advanced icon and go to the this particular option okay now you just simply click on this allow and when you click on this allow section now you can able to see your data uh, your link is generated successfully you just simply copy this and uh, go to a new tab and paste it here and when you paste it here as you can see here your web application is successfully being deployed to your url okay now go to your section add a data like a6 and uh, add the name okay add the name or uh, one two and again we enter the one two and here we enter three three and to quantity five and five okay now go here and for checking this uh, is it working fine or not we simply enter our phone number or order id and click on this search order so when we click on this search order as you can see here the data we have added is successfully being displayed on our new web application so this is a web application hope so you like that if you don't subscribe our channel go to the youtube okay go to the youtube.com and subscribe our channel immediately because whenever we post a new video you will get that particular notifications okay so this is our channel as you can see here if we add the add section okay so this is our channel you just simply click on this subscribe icon and press on the black bell icon because uh in a few weeks we are going to launch our google app script code from zero to hero so whenever we launch our course you can easily get that particular course registration and you can easily enroll free of cost so hope so you like this video you like this concept so this web application is free of cost you can easily test out that for the educational purposes the link is available in the description so thank you very much